Hi guys, I'm Private Maudlin, and today, um, today I went into Glasgow, and as you can see, I got some stuff from Model Zone. So, um, the stuff, some of the stuff in here, are for my what was it, Bren Carrier? Yep, and that's all I'm saying. Um, I'm doing this video in my room because um, the stuff that I got. Well, the, there's one box, that's the biggest thing, um, couldn't fit on my desk. Well, it could fit on my desk, but um, I'm using my iPad camera, and it's got a really, really good zoom on it, so it goes straight in, like, if you do big stuff, um, sometimes I've got to take it off the desk, the camera off the desk, to video it, so I'm doing it in my room. Now, first of all, we have got the Umbral Acrylic Spray Paint. That is for my um, Bren Carrier, because when it was finished primed, what I did was I used the green, but it was the wrong colour. It looked horrible. So, we were... Um, Going up to Aberdeen, so we were passing Glasgow, so we just got, went in and picked some stuff up. So, this is dark green number 30. It's my first umbral acrylic spray paint. I was going to get the Tamiya one, but the guy in Model Zone recommended this one. Because it is cheaper and you get more. So, we've got the umbral acrylic spray paint. And also, we have the... This is one of my favourite things I got. Um, the Tamiya weathering stick and it is sand. Um, I think this is good because um, the Bren carrier in the future I'll be putting on a diorama hopefully or um, something similar. Um, the reason why I got the sand weathering stick is because the Bren Carrier was used in D-Day, so I was going to put sand on the tracks. So that's pretty good. This is my first weathering stick. Um, I've never used one before, um, so it'll be pretty fun to use. Um, I opened this in the car. So it's here it is. It's a bit like a Sharpie pen. Here it is. It's a bit smudged, as you can see. Because I used it on the car. I thought, it, it's like lipstick, look. See? But anyway, I used a bit on the car to see what it was like. I thought it was just like a pen, but I pressed it too hard and it smudged everywhere. So, um, that's the Tamiya weathering stick. Really nice. Here it is. I love the packaging Tamiya makes. And... Finally, um, I just decided to get this because it was a nice addition to my collection. Um, I've not built something like this in a while and you will see what it is when I show you. So it is the Battle of El Alamein. Um, it's a... Uh, you have the Curtis Tomahawk and the Messerschmitt BF. So, um, I've built a Messer Messerschmitt before um, when I was 10. Uh, I don't know where it's gone. Um, but the reason why I bought this kit is because it's reduced. You can see the top right corner. I love a bargain. Um, and I've not built a plane since I was 11 so it'll be good and also what I like about the box is it's got the map of it and the history up there Um I'm not gonna read it all to you but um over here we have the famous Erwin Rommel and over there yep that's Montgomery Burns Um I like the map they did for it. Um it's really nice. And you've got the famous first armored division there. If you can see that. 
and the seventh armor division. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna build this. Um, probably after the Bren carrier, but I'll do a proper review on that after this video. So. This has been Private Modeling, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, that's about it. Goodbye, and have a great day.